train I'm on Guitar Heroes. All right, we like old folk songs. 500 Miles. I believe the first recording was the Journeymen uh, in 1962, Peter, Paul, and Mary, 1963, on their first album, Kingston Trio, roughly the same time. Uh, a simple chord projection in the key of G. We, we only have four chords. We've got a G, we've got an E minor, we've got an A minor. I'm sorry, we've got five chords. We've got a C. And then we get a D7. And those are our chords. And the, the flow of the song is fairly simple. And of course, most of the emphasis, if you listen to the, uh, to the recorded songs, Peter, Paul, and Mary, the Journeyman, and the Kingston Trio, we're talking about lots of harmony. That's really where the fill is here. Not that there's something complicated uh, about the guitar playing. Uh, so let's just take a quick look here. Uh, intro, basically the, the chords that we're, we're playing throughout the song. G, an E minor, an A minor, and a C. And it sounds like there's maybe a little finger picking uh, going on, at least uh, in the... Uh, now I can't remember. I think maybe it was both in the Journeyman and Peter, Paul, and Mary that I heard that. And then in the Kingston Trio, guess what you're hearing there? Banjo. <laughs> okay, so we play those first four chords in G... E minor, same pace as the rest of the song, A minor and a C, and that's going to take us right into the first verse. If you G miss the train I'm on, E minor, you will, A minor, know that I am going to see. You can, A minor, hear the whistle blow a hundred miles. There's your D7. Remember a D7, now different than uh, kind of the opposite of a regular D. I got the first finger here on the B string at the first fret, and then the other two fingers pretty much go where you would expect them to be uh, on the second fret. Now we start in with kind of what you would consider to be maybe the repetitive part. A hundred miles G, a hundred miles E minor, a hundred A minor, miles a hundred miles. You can A minor, hear the whistle blow, D7, a hundred miles. 
And then we've got uh, three more verses. They're basically all the same. The last verse we'll go through because it's a slightly different where we repeat a couple of the other parts, but it's basically the same thing. So this is how you end up. We're going to repeat the first two lines of the first verse. If you miss the train I'm on E minor, you will A minor know that I am going to C. You can A minor hear the whistle at D7 blow a hundred miles. A hundred miles still in G, a hundred miles E minor, a hundred miles A minor, a hundred miles C. You can A minor, hear the whistle blow, D7, a hundred miles. And then we will repeat that one more time, uh, that, that line one more time, and that's basically the song. Uh, now, as I listen to each one of these uh, recordings, uh, generally speaking, the words were the same, but there were some things that were a little bit different on, on one version. Uh, instead of away from my home, they were singing 500 miles in the second verse. But then uh, I noticed that there were two out of the three, or maybe it was an, even another one. There's many people that have covered this song. And so I, uh, I left it at away from home rather than 500 miles. And maybe that doesn't make any sense, but in the second verse. Uh, so there's, so I guess my point here is that when you have songs that are old and many, many people cover them, a lot of times they'll change up the lyrics or they'll they'll change up the order of the verses that that kind of thing but this is this is the basic song that the journeyman peter paul and mary and the kingston trio uh, did uh, i'm guessing that uh, that potentially they could have done them in different keys this is the easy key to do it uh, and that's why we picked g because we had g a minor e minor c d7 so we don't have any bar chords okay so there you go 500 miles by the journeyman Peter, Paul, and Mary, and the Kingston Trio, roughly in the 62-1963 time frame. This was really the, the hot spot, uh, so to speak, in the timeline for folk music. Uh, they were, that was the hot, uh, the hot music uh, genre that was happening then. So hope you got something out of this lesson. Uh, we'll see you next time, and uh, take it easy out there.